Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the best way to get free music. I'm Dave from TVR Creators, and I make weekly YouTube tips help you build your brand. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe now. So you really, really, really want to use your favorite song. It's so difficult not to use your favorite song. I know myself that from time to time, I wanna use one of my favorite songs from my favorite artists, and I just don't want any of you getting into trouble. It's just not worth it. You don't want copyright issues or strong it's against your channel, please do not do it, it's just not worth it. And the first tip I want to share with you is, do -do 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 drum roll, is the YouTube Studio Library. Sorry, the YouTube Audio Library. Get it right, Dave. And I'll tell you what, it's a great tool and it's free, most importantly. And it's probably the safest way to get free uncopyright music. What I would recommend is go have a browse, have a look on the, on the catalog, type in the type of music you want, being dance or relaxation, depending on what, you know, what video you're going for. Think of films that you watch so sort of you know what sort of feeling you're trying to go for and one tip I would definitely recommend is just copy and paste the artist and the track of the song put it in your description just to sort of cover yourself and you don't necessarily have to do that but I would highly recommend you do that because some artists just prefer that it gives credit to the artist and it's just best practice but I would highly recommend the YouTube audio library because it's just a great great tool and it's a fantastic selection of songs that have been specially made for content creators here on YouTube it's a great source a great tool and my theme tune that I use in my weekly videos came from that very place so go and check it out it is a great and safe way to get free music here on YouTube now another place I would recommend at least looking into are YouTube channels with no copyright music there was a one channel I found out about called no copyright sounds which looks a really good channel it's used by think media and it has some great tracks on there you can use for backing tracks for your channel again I would highly recommend you you copy and paste the artist and the track in your description just to cover yourself but just bear in mind be careful if you just go on any random channel or even that channel because you never know um, because down the road they might change their mind and this sort of thing and if you're using non-copyright music from random channels that you've never heard of they might, might have stole the track or just not ask permission so just be careful with doing this. Now something else you could do is have a look at non-copyright music websites. There are loads of them around. Um, I would recommend actually there are sites where you can actually pay for the license, which is probably the safest thing to do. Um, but do a bit of research, have a look. I must admit I just don't bother because I just, again, I just really can't emphasize enough how easy and great it is to have the YouTube audio library. But by all means, have a look on different websites, perhaps buy a track, get licensed for it, have a look around, but again, do your research, look at reviews, copy and paste the artist into your description. I know I keep saying that, but it's so important. I want you to cover your backs. So I don't want you to get you know, strikes against your channel, but just another resource to think about or have a look, or maybe just get ideas for the type of tracks they want to use within your content. Now, come on, Dave, gives another safe option, you know, another thing to think about. Well, this is another safe option you could do is make your own own music. You're probably thinking, oh, I'm not a musician, but you could get a really good program like the Magic Music Maker. Say that 10 times fast. It's a great program where you can make your own backing tracks, even your own songs. It's amazing how creative you can get, and some of you will be better than others. I appreciate that, but I wouldn't say I was great at music, and in the past for films and stuff, I made some really cool backing tracks that I've used in previous videos and films. So it's something to bear in mind, and it's a good way and in a way to be creative as a content creator. And as content creators, we love of being creative. So I would definitely recommend at least having a go at the music maker from Magic. It's a great bit of software. Yes, it costs a bit of money, but sometimes you have to invest a bit of money to bring value to your viewers. Question of the day then, what do you use music for or what are you thinking to use music for? Put it in the comments below, just be interesting to see. Hope you got value from today's video. Have a great day, great rest of your week. And as always guys, come on, let's do it together now. I feel the passion, come on, feel the passion. You guys, come on, let's do it. You guys rock.